Hey, good evening. This message is not brought to you by Exfoliage. Urgent news. The Gerardine. Is that demonaniac? Demonac. Maniac. Demonaniac. <laughs> right? The story of the Gerardine. Demon in a man's body, I guess. Let's find out. Jesus had come by boat with his disciples to the countryside at the northeast part of the Lake of Galilee, which surrounds Gadara. In this area, there was various tombs and caverns, and it was here that a man who was considered to be mad and demon-possessed lived, after he had been driven out of the town. The people had tried to bind him with chains to protect themselves from his violence, but when this had proved futile, they had driven him out to wander restlessly in the wild hill country and live in the caves which were used as tombs. At intervals during the day and night, he would be seen amongst the tombs or on the hills, wildly shrieking, cutting his flesh with sharp stones, trying to destroy himself and bring his unbearable existence to an end. Now it appears that when Jesus landed, this man, possessed by demons, saw him in the distance and ran up to him and fell down before him, crying in a loud voice, Jesus, Son of the Most High God, what do you want with me? For God's sakes, I beg you, don't punish me, for the demon had apparently sensed Jesus' superior power and the fact that Jesus was in the process of freeing the man from possession by, his, by the demon. Jesus then asked the man his name. My name is Legion. And there are many of us, he replied. And he kept begging Jesus not to send the evil spirits out of that district. At the time, there was a large herd of pigs nearby, feeding on the hillside for the people in the area being Greeks had no scruples about pigs, which the Jews believed to be an unclean animal. And the evil spirits in the man begged Jesus to be allowed to go among the pigs. And Jesus gave permission, and the evil spirits left the man and entered the pigs. And the whole herd of pigs rushed down the slope of the hill into the lake and were all drowned. There were about 2,000 pigs in the herd, and the herdsmen, when they saw the pigs drown, were terrified and ran off to the nearby towns and surrounded the district and told the story so that the crowds of people came with them to see what had happened. And when they all got back, they found Jesus sitting down with the man who had been possessed by the demons, who was now sitting there calm in his right mind, and everyone was astonished. The herdmen, who had lost their pigs, began to tell the story again, and all the people being suspicious of Jesus a la Galilean, Anyway, and terrified by his powers, they begged him to go away and leave them alone, and Jesus went down to the lakeside, making ready to go, and the man who had been possessed then ran after him, asking to be allowed to go with Jesus and follow him. But Jesus simply told him to return to his home and tell the people how much God had done for his sin. After the period of the ministry based in Capernaum, this is early 28 AD, Jesus returned to Nazareth where he had grown up as an apprentice carpenter to his father. He met a mixed reception which turned to hostile when he began to make claims which the synagogue congregation felt no carpenter's sons should make. After their rejection of him, there is no record of his ever visiting Nazareth again. The teaching of Jesus about money and possessions was disturbing. Money and possessions were not simply, as was generally thought, a sign of God's favor, 
but rather they could be a serious obstruction to the man's relationship with God. Jesus made claims that clearly implied he was the Messiah. However, Jesus was reluctant to use the actual title of Messiah because it had misleading implications. But the impact of his claims created a sensation which placed Jesus in real danger.